Time for the celebrity clips now with Celebrity Cruises. A ship that I was on, say, in May, and I couldn't fault her. No. She's, adorable. She's won lots of awards as well. Um, but let's take you on board and talk you through. And Celebrity are all about modern five-star luxury, aren't they? Absolutely, they are. And uh, you'll see this from the footage here. Um, and you can see, well, first of all, you've got real grass. And then that's, oh, real grass oh, you have. Oh, yes, you, of course. You've, you've got the most beautiful swimming pool. Some of these are undercover as well. Um, so if you know the weather's not great on particular days, you've actually got the uh, canopy roof that comes across as well. The service, the food, the entertainment was faultless when Absolutely. I was Absolutely, and you've got some really special features like the hot glass blowing as well. And, uh, you know, the, it, when you go to the bar, they make a real show and you make it, you order a cocktail and you do feel like you're in a movie and they're flipping the glasses around. And as you say, to be on board and feel real grass under your feet is quite it, an extraordinary feat. It, I don't know why, but it just is. It is. It? Um, and say, so, celebrities have won so many awards um, over recent years. Everything about my cruise with them was perfect and you know, I have been on many, many, many cruises. I have to say, they've all been really good, they have. Yeah. I've not had a bad experience yet. But you will love the celebrity clips, guarantee it. And Very contemporary. Yes, yeah. modern, contemporary, um, mm. and lots kind of, of space. Yeah, yeah, lovely. So that is the celebrity, that's the ship. And should we have a look at where we're going? Because this is yeah, really Actually, good. before we do, we actually have got a clip of Jo from Celebrity, oh. just to tell you a little bit more. Here she is with Keith. Now, obviously, Celebrity Line, um, award-winning, yes. um, and they have this tagline almost, modern luxury. Can you yeah. explain what you mean by that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you for, for mentioning the awards. We're, we're very proud of the awards that we, that we have won, and it's great endorsement from uh, Cruise Critic in particular, mm. Celebrity Eclipse, who sails out of Southampton, uh, won Best Cruise Ship out of Southampton. Uh, uh, just last year, so that's fabulous. And she won like best, uh, best for accommodation, best for food. It was the, the, the list was endless, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Both as a brand and particularly Eclipse, so yeah. yes, Southampton very much so. <sighs> okay, <laughs> you're getting loads of extras on this one as well. Gemini, we, we we don't mind a drink. You get a free drinks package on this. I don't mind a drink. No, no. we don't mind a drink. Uh, free car parking and you can get a balcony as well. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. And the free car parking, actually, sometimes we just go on free car parking. That's really good, Especially isn't it? Especially on a long cruise, two, yeah. three, two weeks. And it can be yeah. such a sort of stress otherwise. What to do with the car? Do you take the car? So I think that's really good. And a balcony, you know, it does really enhance the experience. And a drinks package means you really don't have to worry about anything. So let's show you. You're cruising from Southampton. So, Gemma, you're already packing all your shoes, dresses. Yes, absolutely. And then leaving all my luggage to somebody else to take to my cabin. Absolutely. <laughs> He's got the one that's got backache. That's the one that took my luggage. <laughs> but yeah, that is really wonderful. And then day three, we're arriving in Copenhagen and it's a magical place if you've never been. You almost feel, I feel, like a little bit like you're going back in time and a little bit like a fairy tale, which makes sense when you think that Hans Christian Andersen used to live here. You know, he wrote the fairy tales like the Tinderbox and Little Claws, Big Claws and the Princess and the Pea here. And go and visit Niaven, which is um, a little port bit where you've got beautiful old houses, all different colours. And if you go and visit number nine, Niaven, that's the oldest house in the area, dating back to 1681. Really? If you can get your head around that, yeah. Wow. Because I think why when you go there, it does feel like you're in another era almost. It's beautiful. Loads of castles to visit as well. And that's the Little Mermaid there. Then we're off, uh, we've got a day at sea, and then we're arriving in Stockholm in Sweden, which, if you've never been, again, is a wonderful place to visit. Um, I would go definitely to Gamla Stan, which is like the old town part um, of Stockholm, and it's just fantastic. You'll see taverns and waffle shops and little <laughs> fishing boats and you know you really get a sense of the place's history. You've got like medieval alleyways and little squares and Again, one of those places you can just wander around. You don't even have to have a real plan. Um, but lots of sights to see as well. So many places to go and have a lovely drink. Then, oh, sorry, and I'm kind of rushing because there's so much to do in Stockholm. But we're going to Tallinn, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. We're going off to Estonia. Um, where you've got sites galore again, you've got the town hall square, you've got the palace, you've got the cathedral. So sites galore. And again, if you want us to sort out any excursions, we absolutely will. And then oh, on day eight, after all of those places, 
you're going to St Petersburg. And you're there overboard on night. Let's give you a little taste. This is a place I, I, I really want to go to. It's on my wish list, St Petersburg. It, yes, I mean, uh, unbelievable a chance to go and spend see, a bit of time there. I want to see all the architecture and everything. Yeah, well, that's it. And I think that when you're growing up, you sort of learn about Russia in history at school and everything. But then you go there and you really sort of feel it. And you can go and get a tour, a canal cruise. And I think that's one of the best things to do because you actually get to see loads of the palaces kind of all at once. And, you know, if you want to go inside, that's another thing. But you can just glide down the, the canal and actually see loads of sites like I know, this. I know. Um, all at once, you've got the Hermitage Museum, you've got Peterhof Palace, Catherine Palace, so many places to go and but, visit. And without saying awful, you know, I, I really want to visit St. Petersburg. I don't know if I want to be there a week or two weeks. Yeah. But to go there for you know, a couple of days. You can, and you can do Perfect. so much. You can absolutely get a taste of it in just that time it's it could be absolutely and, plenty of time and this is the great thing about booking a cruise you know you do get to see so many different places in the one holiday you get to experience so much yeah. of life uh, and everything is so well organized as well anyway there's still yeah. a bit more isn't there yeah you could even go and see a ballet anyway you could. yeah and then you are in berlin which actually is an amazing city as well i could talk at length about berlin um and it's it's got a real sort of hip feel to it so that's fantastic and then we're sailing back home after yes. uh, after that experience you can then enjoy the ship that's, for a few days so you, say, you will still love those final few days oh that, yeah and i know um Oh, I can't remember the expression the um, cruise director used, but, you know, oh, that was it. We, we'll we rock till we dock. That's oh. what she said, yes. <laughs> Sue on board. And Lovely, honestly, yeah. even, though, even the final few moments of the cruise, everything was still happening. It was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. So you've got 13 nights to enjoy all of that as well. So it is a proper holiday, isn't it? And just showing you here, look, this is the beautiful ship. This is why <gasps> I mean, Celebrity Wood and Sunny Worlds, the, the main restaurant is fabulous. I know, and just that high city. And yeah, the wine cellar that they have is out of this world. And you can actually order your wine from an iPad. It's all very flash on board. It really is and, stunning food and, as well. uh, It's a work of art, isn't it? Yeah. And don't forget, this, this offer tonight does include the balcony upgrade... The classics drinks package. Well, I'll show you the drinks package. I do know it very well. Oh, there's the room you'll have, State by the way. rooms are lovely yes. again, aren't they? Really lovely. And, of course, you've got also all your casual dining as well. Uh, so if you don't fancy the fine dining all the time, you can just go and get a burger or whatever you want. So free classics drinks package, free car parking for two weeks, and the free £50 off tips. And this is a drinks package as well. And you know it does include all the specialty teas and coffees and sodas, juices, bottled water. You know, so you take your bottled water off, you know, off with you on the trips and things. Selected beers and spirits and wines, even oh. cocktails, and a wide selection of uh, alcoholic beverage in the specialty bars and restaurants as well. So it's a brilliant drinks package. You just don't have to think for a couple of weeks hey. as well. Everything organised for you. Do you know what I've just realised as well? A drinks package for two weeks would be worth an awful lot of money. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm too right. <laughs> would, would, we, would we my bar, Bill? I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, uh, excursion-wise, then don't forget, we can arrange these... For yes. you. And, yeah, and this is really good value. And Copenhagen, like I was saying, a beautiful city to look around. You've got highlights of this tour include like going to the Waterfront District and some of the places that I named. And then you've got St. Petersburg as well. Um, and I think having a tour there could be a really good idea so you don't miss out on anything. And that's £75 per person. Ah.